Hello, my name is Alexis Wallace, and today I will be discussing ice nucleating bacteria and their environmental and economical importance. So what are ice nucleating bacteria? These bacteria are said to be ice nucleation active or INA. They are a type of bacteria that can induce the formation of ice at temperatures higher than the normal ice melting point. The ice melting point is the temperature in which water freezes. Ice nucleating bacteria can freeze water at temperatures of even negative 10 degrees Celsius. There are three common genera for these ice nucleating bacteria, and they are Erwinia, Pseudomonas, and Xanthromonas. Now let's discuss some of the common characteristics of ice nucleating bacteria. Most of these bacteria are gram negative and have a bacillus shape, although some strains can have a caucus shape. They are generally oxidase negative, meaning that they do not have the cytochrome C oxidase enzyme. They are catalase positive, which means they do have the enzyme catalase, and they are able to convert oxygen radicals into a less toxic form. And they are also citrate positive, meaning that they can use citrus as a source of energy. Now let's talk about ice nucleating proteins. These are also called ice plus proteins. They are found attached to the outer cell membrane. Ice nucleating proteins allow bacteria to induce the formation of ice. They also fold themselves to create ice nucleation sites. So how do ice plus proteins cause the formation of ice? Dr. Wiedner proposes that ice nucleation sites are, are composed of theranin and sarin, and these are just amino acids in the bacteria. So ice nucleation sites mimic the polar groups found on ice. They cause hydroxyl groups to form a lattice, and the lattice leads to ice crystals. So as you can see in the picture that I included, it is ice and they form lattices to connect to each other. And so the proteins on the bacteria, they mimic this lattice form and it causes the water to create the lattices as well to form ice. And I also wanna note that ice nucleating bacteria, they also draw heat from water, which can cause it to freeze faster. Ice nucleating bacteria are a huge concern for commercial farmers because they can be very harmful to crops. Ice nucleating bacteria are epiphyte, meaning they are often found on plants. They damage the plant tissue in order to access the nutrients inside the plant. These bacteria, since they cause the formation of ice, they can lead to frost damage and even kill plants. Scientists are researching how ice minus bacteria or bacteria that do not cause the formation of ice can be used to combat frost damage. Now let's talk about how these bacteria can be used economically. A lot of ski resorts use artificial snow and these bacteria can 
make artificial snow at a higher temperature than normal. These bacteria can also help in the freezing of some foods. Ice nucleating bacteria also have some effects on weather. So these bacteria can be found everywhere pretty much, including in the atmosphere, just floating around in the air. And these bacteria, they are also found in clouds. And many scientists are researching how these bacteria can cause snow and ice precipitation. All right. Thank you for watching my presentation about ice nucleating bacteria and their economical and environmental importance. On this last slide, I included all of my references and sources I used. Thank you.